What's up Top Shelf Nation? Super excited to have you guys with me today. Today we're gonna be talking about why do we want to build brand as a bartender? The obvious reason would be that it's gonna help you build your customer base and get more guests into your bar, sitting in your seats and filling your seats. Some of the more uh, intangible reasons you're gonna see is it's gonna turn your normal customers, it's gonna turn them into more regular customers, and we've all bartended long enough, maybe we've served in the past, and we know that regulars are the best kind of customers we can get. Why? Because regulars sit there longer, they're more enjoyable, they're easier to talk to, they're generally more patient with you in case there's something going on and you get pulled away, not to mention they're way better tippers than your average customer as well. One of the main reasons we want to build brand as a bartender is because it's going to give us some insulation and some leverage as a bartender. It's going to give you a more re uh, regular schedule and it's going to give you really first priority on the shift that you want. If you ever need to move to another location um, or decide you want to leave one job and go to another job, your customer base is going to follow you over there. They're not going to go to your establishment because that's the reason they were going there. They were going to your previous establishment because they wanted to see you. But knowing that you're going to a different place, they're going to follow you over there. So it gives you some insulation from the impact of having to move from job to job if you ever need to. But we've seen it in the past back in 2008 where the economy just takes a hit and a recession comes. When businesses start shutting down, bartenders are forced sometimes on a dime to go find another job. Having that mobile client base means you could seamlessly move from one place to another and say, hey guys, I'm no longer at this place. I'm over here now. Come and see me on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights. Those are my shifts. And you get to bring your customer base with you. It's a huge advantage to have brand behind the bar where customers want to come see you they're not saying, I want to go to this establishment because I know they have a bar. They're saying, I want to go to that establishment because I know so-and-so is working there. It's a different perspective, but sometimes we want to remind ourselves that people can get drinks anywhere. They can even go to the grocery store, take that stuff home, and they can make the drinks way cheaper themselves. But they come to your spot because they want to go there to see you. Remember, Going out and having drinks isn't about just going out to have the drinks. It's about going out, having a good time, and spend time with the people that you enjoy spending time with. Positioning yourself to build brand as a bartender gives you that opportunity to be part of that good time with them. So it's not just two people sitting at the bar hanging out with each other, but they're also hanging out with the bartender too. I know when I go out, I'm not just going out to hang out with this one person next to me. I can take that one person, we can go to any bar. We choose a certain bar because we like that certain bartender. When all these things start to come together, it's going to position you to have a much faster pace, more exciting environment, which is going to make your job a lot more exciting as well. It's way more exciting and fun to go to work when you're spending that entire shift with people you enjoy spending time with, rather than just waiting for people to come in organically. Um, and nine times out of ten, those are people you don't even know. And think about it this way. When you go out uh, any Friday night, Saturday night, if you go to um, even to someone's house party, right? When it's a party kind of environment and everyone's there, they're exciting, there's an energy there and everybody's having fun, you tend to stay longer. You'll tend to have more drinks as well. Whereas if it's very quiet, there's no music, no one's talking to each other, you get a lot more turnover and you get a lot less retention rate from your customers. We've all worked those shifts where it's just so busy and time flies by, right? When it's exciting, we're having fun, it's going to fly by every single time. But when we're standing around and we're hoping that guests come in and we're hoping to see someone that we know, the shifts tend to get a lot longer where eight hours feels more like 18. So what does it mean to build brand? Well, the definition of building brand is to position your name to be synonymous with an event, a place, or a product. Through the lens of bartending, that means we want to create our identity and who we are to be the reason that people go to our location and buy our drinks and sit with us versus somewhere else. Building brand gives you leverage and makes you the choice that people want to make when people have dozens of choices to choose from. We're going to start with four basic questions. It's going to start with who you are. That doesn't mean just you as a bartender. You can have a lot more depth to you than just what you do, right? You have a personality, you have interests, and you have things that you can talk about. So who starts with who you are and what makes you different than every other bartender out there. Next is who is your audience? Maybe you're a bartender that works all lunch shifts, which means you need to be the destination for people that need to go out when they have a quick hour for lunch. And that's going to give you a different audience than the people that are going out at 11 o'clock at night on a Friday night. Identifying who your audience is and what gap you can fill for them is really going to position yourself to know what brand identity you want to start attacking. The next question is, what problem do you solve? And lastly, 
What makes you different than every other bartender that's out there? Now, it ties in a little bit with who you are, but really showing that personality and showing what makes you different, sets you apart from the rest, is gonna be a huge driver in making you successful when you're building brand as a bartender. And finally, the million dollar question, how do you build brand? It's all gonna come down to patience. Building brand takes time, and it takes diligence, and it takes commitment. Building brand is about building relationships with your customers that you already have and the people that you encounter from day to day. We build brand by exposure. If the world doesn't know that you're bartending, you're never gonna get clients coming in. You're never gonna get customers sitting at your bar and you're never gonna have guests coming back to see you. There are a few different ways that we can hack exposure. There's word of mouth, you know, relying on friends and family and customers that we do have to spread the word and say, hey, go see so-and-so, they're a great bartender. We can also leverage our social media accounts. It's gonna be up to the bartenders themselves to really decide, do you wanna keep your personal accounts tied in with bartending or do you want to create a separate brand account that's more public facing and we can use that to really leverage and drive in traffic as well. There's no right or wrong way, no right or wrong answer to that. It's going to be personal preference. Whichever way you decide to go though, make sure that you set up your bio and your profile pic to really drive what you're trying to get the message through. Now when you have a public facing account, it's a lot easier for people to use hashtags to go in there and you can kind of communicate with the world versus if you have a private account, then those hashtags don't link up. And no matter which way you decide to go, the world should always know the second you go in and you're on the clock in the bar. And lastly, there's the business card approach. Whenever you're doing business with someone and you're leaving a conversation with someone you want to do business with in the future, you would always leave them your business card. Bartenders traditionally don't have business cards, but there's no one, nothing saying that you can't have your own business card. Sometimes you have to go there and do that on your own. Sometimes you can even make them from home. You can even take the receipt that they're using from the bar and you can write on the back of that as well. It's a good option for someone to know, hey, they can come back and see you anytime. Lastly, and probably the single most important component to building brand is execution. It doesn't do you any good to build traffic and have people come in to see you if you can't execute on the volume. If you're used to only getting five or 10 people in there at a time and all of a sudden you get 50, are you gonna be able to keep up with that traffic? A lot of times too when we're bartending, it's not just all in our control, but we rely on certain external factors as well. Do you have a bar back? Are they scheduled every single weekend? Are they reliable and gonna show up? Are they good enough to be able to support you if you bring in 50 people? How reliable is the kitchen that's back there? How much can you depend on your managers to jump in there and help you out whenever you need their help? So there's a lot of different factors we wanna consider, but no matter what, you wanna make sure that if you're gonna be driving traffic and you're gonna be building brand, that you can execute when they do decide to come in to see you. So I hope you found some of these hacks useful. Uh, hopefully you can implement some of these and we're gonna be learning a lot more tips and tricks too as we start meeting some of the bartenders on our team. So I really hope you enjoyed today's Top Shelf Talk. Don't forget to hit that like button below, and subscribe to follow us and find us on other social media platforms as well. Great to see you again, Top Shelf Nation. I look forward to seeing you guys next week.